Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. The next episode of Red Valkyrie is about to start. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Red Valkyrie. I am your host, Shay the Red, and I am here with the super awesome Trisha. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy that I was able to get you on. So uh, for anybody who doesn't know, um, I'm an asshole because we were supposed to do this a couple days ago and um, Shay stayed up until six in the morning and then slept really late and then completely forgot until I get a a DM uh, from Trish going like, yo, we still doing this? And I'm like, uh, shit. I'm so sorry. So I'm super grateful because she's been very flexible and very, very sweet and uh, willing to reschedule. And so we can uh, we can talk about this unbelievably awesome comic that YouTube is already pissed off about because heaven forbid I call it by its real name because it's just such a clutch your pearls moment. We can't we can't talk about it. Uh, so we're going to talk about it excessively because why the hell not? We're talking all about orgasm girl and uh i'm not you know what i'm not even going to go into it i'm gonna let trish just take the stage so orgasm girl is an action comedy about a boxer named amari with the ability to make any man she touches orgasm at the snap of her fingers (laughs) then she gets captured by those who want to use her powers for evil (laughs) uh how do you use the power to make somebody orgasm for evil you know, like, I feel like that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone, everyone has no complaints. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel, I feel like this is uh, one of those few instances where uh, her her superpower is uh, one that people aren't necessarily afraid of, unless they're like, I don't know, with their grandparents or something. <laughs> Yeah, there was this uh, one joke, some comment said, like, everyone would be stealing TVs and committing crime just so they didn't, they could run into her. Right? I, I totally could see that. I could see crime going up in whatever city she's in, uh, just because it's like, you know, it's been a while. I got a drop going. Like, maybe I'll go steal a TV. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we have a ton of people in the chat. Hey, guys. Uh, naked women of CJ Apollo. Uh Sweetie, I'm just gonna hold on. Let's let's get let's get to this right here. Uh, I'm not naked, but thank you. That's adorable. <laughs> You're such an ass. Um, you guys, you guys kill me. So this is uh, how many pages is this book? Uh, it's a 22 classic comic issue. Nice. Um, so this is and see i love this because you see her out here and she's just kind of like yeah okay whatever and then he gets too close and she's just it, the look on her face is just like oh sweetie this is about to be terrible for you <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you've gotten into well and the, the thing i like is it's not just like she's just not walking around like looking at people and being like snap 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 like she's like <laughs> she can fight like she actually can fight um and dodge which is important <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and this, like, right here in this panel, like, I can't wait to see this colored because the movement that you, you've you got going in his arm going past her and her hair, like, where you can see that she, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's perfect. That's exactly, exactly what I would expect. It's very anime manga-esque um, kind of movement, but I love it. I think it's really good. And the look on her face is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, someone mentioned the last panel, she's like biting her lip while she's punching him. And obviously, you probably wouldn't want to do that if you were actually punching someone. But I just like the expression, you know? I don't think that that there's anything wrong with that. Because it's the way that it looks like to me is kind of like one of those. um, She's so confident in what she's doing. And, you know, yeah, like I, I can see you might end up cutting into your own lip with your own tooth. But at the same time, like, you can kind of control how hard you're going to bite down a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it's cute as shit. I, and I, I think that that's the aesthetic is more pleasing and more important than the uh, logistics, I guess, of it. I, this is a woman who snaps her fingers and men like 
have a massive orgasm. I don't think that we're we're too worried about it remaining in the realm of reality. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can do some bending of the realism. Yeah, exactly. And and it's it's a very, very cute kind of panel. So um what exactly is your role on Ogo? Like what 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 do you do? Do you do all of it? Do you writer, artist, colorist, everything or what? Yeah, I'm uh, the creator and writer. I was originally going to be the artist. When this first was conceptualized, I was going to make it like my own little webcomic on the side. But uh, someone convinced me, hey, you should do that for a campaign. So I, I ended up getting partnered up with Sanity, who is a killer artist, as I'm sure you can see. And uh, yeah, he's been doing great. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really like his style. I think that it's uh I think it's really well done. I, I also love this, the his buddy's going, oh fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> she uh she laid him out. Uh because that's before she does any of the crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's I I just I really love it. I love I love kind of the the manga feel and that's um I think it's cool that that's kind of what you you guys went with was less like comic book superhero more kind of like anime manga style right right uh all of the all the motion lines and stuff really helps sell that and the the snap like this blur of where the finger was and where it ended up to really show you it was a snap i love that kind of stuff i think it's really it's hard to do well um where it doesn't look like hammy or confusing because it's like why does she have you know an extra finger <laughs> um, but I, I think that I think your artist is doing a very good job in uh, it really kind of selling this and the expressions, which are uh, you know quite important considering the content. <laughs> right, right. There's um, a lot of uh, comedy that's going to be like very visual, so it's it's important to get an artist who can display that, right? Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the thing is, is if anybody's if anybody comes at you and is like, well, this is just a ridiculous concept. Like your, I feel like your answer is yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, it the is. That's, selling point. That, 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 that's the point is we're making something that's ridiculous and insane. We're not doing anything like nobody really has this power. This isn't something that somebody does. Uh, and if they do, wow, like you are, you are much more woman than I am. Uh, Very <laughs> different. <laughs> Uh, either that or they just surround themselves with simps all day and, and that's why it's so easy i don't i'm not sure <laughs> yeah. snapping them through the live stream yeah right oh my gosh um so you've got a whole bunch of really cool art right here um kind of explain to me what is all of this art like how is it being included in the campaign yeah, so what you're looking at now is some like desktop wallpapers that are included for like all the backers. I wanted to add something a little bit extra in the digital bundle because we are actually not doing shipping outside of the US. Mm -hmm. So I wanted people outside to get a little something extra too. Yeah. Sure it's still worth their time, you know? So I, I have like uh, the digital wallpapers that I had a couple well, I had Sanity and uh, someone else do, and then two of mine, which aren't nearly as good. But <laughs> and then I also would be including um, concept art in the digital bundle. And yeah. Awesome. So, <laughs> um, poster that also is a tier. Oh, right, right, right. That's awesome. So, uh, if you back the physical, uh, are people who back the physical getting the digital as well, or are they just getting the physical? Yeah, they're getting the digital as well. Uh, most cool. of the tiers stack, so. Okay, perfect. So you just kind of move up as you go. Um, yeah. By the way, the suggestive, <laughs> I can't, it just makes you laugh dripping off her glasses. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, it would be a, a super funny little pinup. Yeah, well, and I, I love, like, that you have the kiss that is uh, kind of a continuing theme all throughout this. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you've got what you've unlocked. The Valentine's cards are unlocked. Mm -hmm. uh, I do those up myself. Really? Okay. 
That's yeah, you can find them in the updates if you want to see them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> um, and then the poster, so is it the poster that was down below, or is it a new one? A new poster. Oh. I got to in contact with someone to do that. That will be fun. Yeah, it's kind <laughs> of like spoofish Valentine's Day cards. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so terrible and it makes me so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is uh this is this is hilarious. Um do you have any pictures of the uh new poster or not yet? No, not yet. Okay. No, I haven't okay. commissioned uh, anyone to do it yet. Nice. Uh, do you have? Do you already have a person in mind, or are you still shopping around for artists? Uh, people usually like the Sashi pinups, so I was thinking about uh, commissioning her. Yeah, Sashi is uh, Sashi's pretty popular. She's also very good with making women very, very pretty. Um, right. right. <laughs> replicate. How about a nice comic about porch repair? Uh, you know. Maybe that could be the second issue of Oh Girl, um, but I don't think it's going to go the way that you would expect Porch Repair to go. I feel like something's going to happen a lot. So, you know, <laughs> just careful what you wish for is what I'm getting at. You never know, right? <laughs> right. Um, so before we go over your tears, I wanted to play your video just because I thought it was kind of a fun, a fun video that you had. So uh, let me bring that up. That is the correct uh, closing scene to have. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's like goes down to boobs and then it's like, yeah, we're just going to hang here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, oh, Wolverine says, as a person who has to do portrait repair, it feels that they could truly identify with that representation in a book. Um I would I would encourage you, Wolverine, to go and make your porch repair man book. Uh, <laughs> it it who knows? It could be the next hit. I mean, we got um, what is it? Pillman and Blanket Boy. We've got uh, Street um, Street Road Warrior Drake. There we go. Like we got we got all kinds of crazy characters uh, hanging around here. So you you go on with a uh, porch repair man and see what happens. Um. Buddy says it's nice art. I would agree. Uh, I find it funny that you you wait until uh, this to say nice art. <laughs> but but yes, I would agree. Very nice art. Um, replicant, those colors do some heavy lifting. Uh, yep, that's, that's, that's very true. And genuine, yes, this is one of the easiest cosplays that I've, I've had to do uh, to a point. I had to try and take my hair that is, you know, down to my belly button and make it look short. That was a little tricky. But otherwise, wrap your hands, put on a bikini top, basically done. <laughs> so, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, um. What were you gonna say? I, I was I was gonna say. Uh, so you're you're doing really really good. You're at uh, 10k so far. Your next stretch goal is set for 15. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Not super sure what I'm gonna do for that yet, but I'm sure people have their own little requests. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have my requests, but no one's gonna be shocked by it. Uh something like this the the logo not the tits before anyone gets excited 
um, <laughs> in in a patch form because like with the kiss and everything, I think that'd be that'd be a badass patch. That would be awesome. Um, okay. Definitely something to think about. <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. Sorry, my uh, my chat is distracting the hell out of me. <laughs> um, so I after after the heavy lifting, uh, replicant says it's not what I meant. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, Genuine Comics has some sexy art. I still need to back this. I wholeheartedly agree. This is this is one of those books. Now, uh, to be to stop with all of the innuendo for half a second um i was telling trisha this backstage this cover is so catching and i love the fact that you just see her mouth uh her hair back here and everything is getting slightly out of focus obviously the important stuff is in focus but it's such a it's such a, a dynamic kind of image to see and I love I loved that cover so I wanted to back it just based on that because I was like if nothing else I'll have you know hot tits that I can put up on my wall somewhere and I'll be fine with it but when okay. I started looking throughout this um this actually looks a little bit interesting like I'm I'm, I'm genuinely interested in where the story is going to go and it seems just like a good fun ridiculous time that isn't taking itself too seriously Like like a story that yeah, it's all about stupid about. fun. Yeah, ex and and that's what I that's what I appreciate. And so when you scroll down, and you actually read. Uh, it says right down here, orgasm girl is all about lighthearted fun, punching bad guys, silly superpowers, and eye pleasing sexy main character. That part right there is what sold me the most because sometimes you just want to have a, a good time. You just want to look at, at pretty eye candy, good art. And you know, have kind of a funny, ridiculous story that's going to go along with all of it, and just be like, "Yeah, let's let's do this. Why the hell not?" Yeah, some people just want to have fun, and you know, I I used to write very edgy stories for <laughs> most of my writing time, mm -hmm. but at some point, you know, I think kind of looking at anime and seeing a lot of goofy stuff that I've really enjoyed kind of helped me lighten up and try new ridiculous things even if they uh appeal to a more niche audience or are not super serious or th as thought provoking you know yeah. because people need to have fun too exactly and i i definitely think uh, i think that this this sells that just kind of fun sexy um a little bit outlandish but just really entertaining kind of book and i i'm really i'm very impressed with it uh i'm actually shocked that it, the first time through this didn't do so well the only thing i can assume is because i hadn't even heard about it um the first time through so i'm assuming that it was just a matter of trying to get the word out there um that didn't quite go to plan and i can i can understand why um our first stream of this got struck an hour before we were even going to go live because of the word orgasm. Cause heaven forbid uh, anybody talks about orgasm in any capacity. Um, I, we made YouTube clutch their pearls today. It was, it was impressive. Um, so we had to change it to, Oh girl, just to keep from uh, everybody, you know, losing their damn minds. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't really blame them that much since there are actual videos on YouTube of girls just doing their thing. But this is what kills me is there's actual videos of that <laughs> that have that in the title that are still on YouTube. Like YouTube, do your job for the actual problem. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Because all, all the rest of it, like th this is this is a comic book and it's a, it's for fun. Nobody here is, well, nobody on camera is doing this. I can't, I can't speak for the chat. I don't know what the chat is doing. <laughs> Happily. I would like to keep it that way. Oh, yeah. Like forever. Okay, guys, don't ever tell me what you're doing when you're watching these shows. 
it's just it's easier for all of us that way it doesn't get awkward when cg con happens later next year uh yeah just just don't tell me what you're doing <laughs> um all right so you have a couple of tiers and your tiers are actually really really streamlined which i think is um is good but also because i like how ridiculous this is i want so many more things and it, it makes me a little sad because i'm like but i wish that there was like more little goodies that i could throw in there and they're just they're just aren't um mm -hmm. yet so you know get her get her higher in funding and so we can convince her that she needs to do things like patches and pins and stickers and whatever the hell else because uh you know you guys want this you know you want all of this stuff for sure uh so let's go over your perks real fast so people know how they came back to you okay okay all right so your first perk is five dollars you can go ahead and tell us everything that comes with that so $5 will get you a PDF of the comic, some of the desktop wallpapers, and of course uh, a whole a whole PDF of all the concept art that went into uh, Oberl. There's actually a bunch of art by the guy who did the pinup. He, okay. he did like a bunch of different versions and different ideas, and I'm sure people would be like really interested in seeing more of his art because he's also quite quite good <laughs> just a little bit just a touch just just quite just, just like excessively it's fine <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a good tier for anyone who's like overseas and can't get the physical stuff so awesome awesome all right and then uh 15 is the signed copy yep you get a copy of old girl signed plus everything in the digital bundle awesome <laughs> uh where it says signed with love are, are you signing it all in the tit right there because that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> like right here is where the signature is gonna be <laughs> we're actually not super sure where to put the signature i think some people like it on the inside but i don't know yeah <laughs> i've seen i've seen both. You've also got a little bit of white space right here yeah, that you can right. use without uh, compromising any of the the nice cleavage uh, <laughs> area. Right. All right, and then uh, for forty dollars, you get a poster. What size is this poster? Um, I think I made it eleven by seventeen. Okay. Um, I think. <laughs> okay. I have to check my check my checkout. <laughs> But uh, yeah. so uh, for eleven by seventeen, are you folding the poster to include in, or are you uh, rolling? How is it being shipped in? Yeah, I think I'm just going to include everything in the in the one box. We're going to be using the Gemini mailers, so I think I'll just have it like folded in half in there. Okay, all right. So it's uh, a little fold out poster essentially, uh, <laughs> and then. You've got a uh, sketched comic, which is uh, gone. Yeah, There's experimental little tier there where I ha I left a blank space on the back of the comic. And uh, if you wanted to like have me do a little sketch on the back of the comic, you could buy one of those. Ooh. So that's already gone. Uh, any chance if you had people that had interest that you would uh, want to open that back up or... Uh, 10 is 10 is it um maybe i'm not i'm not entirely sure because hmm. i don't know what uh what sketches i'll be doing how how long they'll necessarily take and fair. i don't want to keep people waiting too long for stuff absolutely fair uh and then you have another tier that was the original amari art uh original mistress art both of which are sold out so if you're if you're getting here a little late to the game, uh, unfortunately the <laughs> original art is already gone. However, um, this is it's an interesting concept and an interesting uh, kind of fun little comic for uh, anyone who might be interested. Um, I'm going to open it up to the chat for any questions. Um, do you have any, like any other little bits or anything that you kind of want to talk about with 
this particular uh, campaign? Um, I think we might have gone over everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sitting at uh, 208% funded. You still have 10 days. Is that your first 30 or your second? Uh, is I'm sorry, what? Is it your first 30 days or your second 30 days? Uh, first. Are you planning on extending it all or are you planning on just going straight to in-demand? Since um, you've already hit funding. Yeah, I think I think after afterwards it's fine. I'm not really expecting this to like win any awards or or be super, you know. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Um are you so are you going to be putting it in demand at all or no? Um I'm not sure. Some people think that it should go in demand because sometimes the funding will actually be more or double in demand. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure how much I really uh, want to keep it up because I, I, I'm kind of anxious just to get it all done and get everyone their stuff. So that's fair. Um, yeah. Okay, so when are you planning on shipping? Because you actually don't have a ship date here. Yeah, it's uh, more so dependent on when the book is done. I also don't know how long actually printing will take, especially during like a pandemic. Mm -hmm. But I was hoping to get it printed in America, mostly because of the pandemic, you know, right. <laughs> support local businesses. And right. yeah. <laughs> now you got me looking at the chat. <laughs> I know the chat gets super distracting, uh, especially I, so they're not normally this distracting, um, but considering the content, I, I'm actually, uh, not, I I'm, I'm surprised it's not gotten way more degenerate than I expected, but it's because they're on the best <laughs> behavior because they, they understand, uh, that Shay is scary. So, <laughs> um, replicate wants to know, uh, that he's saying that doing some fan art would be fun. Where would you be able to see it? Uh, most people will send me fan art through Twitter. It's okay. like an easy spot because I'm usually on there, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I feel you. It's, it's a great place to network. And, uh, you know, when you're not being harassed, it's, it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> so... If you need to know how to find Trisha, her Twitter is in the description of the video. So make sure that you go and uh, check her out there and get whatever um, fan art or anything that you might have over to her. Because, I mean, all of that, you never know. It's sometimes people will include it in um, the end of their books as kind of like a, a little nod fan art gallery. Thank you to the fans kind of thing. Um and it also kind of, it, it beefs up your comic a little bit, which is kind of nice. Um, or, you know, just posting it on Twitter and and having Trisha talk about how much she likes it or <laughs> whatever. Like, all of those things can be great. So definitely make sure uh, you sub to Trisha. Make sure that you send her whatever fan art that you, you have. Um, and don't be creeps. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do streams on my uh, on my channel. Oh, perfect. Going off fan art. I didn't even know that you had a channel. I'm so sorry. Uh, I will try to get your channel up on here too. So how can they find you on YouTube? What is the channel name? Uh, just Stan Fan. Same, same username that I got like showing there. Oh, I see it. Uh, Alrighty. So I am going to update our... Let's see if it's going to let me uh let's see if this saves sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't oh yay it saved okay so we're getting it uh put in there as one of trisha's links so you can also sub to her uh to her youtube channel and support her there and of course youtube doesn't want to update it but it updated over on the facebook stream so you can go ahead and check it out there uh, I will get it. I'll get it put on the video after we go up uh, just because that's, you know, <laughs> that's how YouTube do. YouTube likes to be a pain in my butt. Um, oh, so Legkick wants to know, can we get Vinny Tartamella to do an art piece on Oh Girl, which, uh, yeah, that, that would actually be pretty, 
be pretty epic. Yeah, I mean, everyone's uh, everyone's on the table. Well, if you end up not able to commission Sashi for whatever reason, uh, Vinny might be a good one to try and commission to because he's he's very good with the ladies mm. uh, and and the drawing of the ladies, and they always have dead ass though. Uh, so he's very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh that vi guy says we're all behaved here uh pedro's holding up uh wolverine says don't just step up and ask her how do you like it that will end badly yes i i would not i wouldn't say that to any uh woman human ever but you know um especially don't say it to one who can beat the shit out of you and then force you to have an orgasm <laughs> Uh, Paragon wants to say congrats to Trish on the campaign. Uh, what lessons did you learn from the last campaign that helped this one succeed? Um, I, I mean, that goes into a lot of different stuff. <laughs> I, I guess, um, what can I say without starting drama? Ah, that's always fun. <laughs> Uh, well, okay. So, so how about, how about this part? Uh, your first time around, I didn't hear about you at all. Your second time around, I did. So, um, did you, did you network with different people to try and get it a little bit more visibility than you did prior? Or, um, do you think that it just, it just happened <laughs> a little bit better this time? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I did do a few streams with some other people the, the first time around. Um, I, I think the second time, maybe it's just that, you know, I, I had everyone from the original mailing list and actually, I think the last time the mailing list didn't work or something went wrong. Ah, <laughs> so that yeah, was, that's happening a lot lately. <laughs> right. So that would definitely dwindle the numbers quite a bit, but yeah. also there was a lot of, uh, new people added to the channel who, uh, didn't even know about it and now they got introduced and they were sold so yeah. uh, absolutely um wolverine was saying uh oh girl battle made knuckle bomb team up would be cool i i agree uh that would be really interesting actually <laughs> yeah actually uh the creator <laughs> lee he did a, a little oh girl piece for me Ooh. Oh, fan art <laughs> very nice Part of yeah, me wonder I, if I should buy it from him and like use it as a trading card or something. But I mean, I I would I would definitely at a minimum I would look at maybe adding a fan a fan art section uh, <laughs> towards the end of your book if if it's in the budget, right? Just because right. that that would be kind of a a neat little thing to see everybody else's take on this girl specifically. Um, Wolverine says buy it. <laughs> This is by that shit. Uh, oh, Frago wanted to know uh, how many issues is Ogre going to have? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'd imagine it'd be a relatively uh, small series. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how much I can retain people's interest. It's kind of like Keijo, where it's super funny, but if you binge it, it you kind of get numb to it. Yeah, you, you so. start to lose it after a while. Yeah, so you have to, like, space it out. <laughs> totally understand. Uh, well, I I really I really think this is an interesting book. Um, it just, like I said, it just seems like good old-fashioned fun and uh, a little bit of ridiculousness. And, you know, sexy ladies always win, so why not? <laughs> right, right. Oh, uh, well, I... Honestly, uh, I don't have a whole lot of other questions simply because this is, it's a really uh, streamlined campaign that you have here. And so everything is really kind of, this is what it is and, and nice and simple. And here you go. So there's not a whole lot of in the weeds. Um, Frago also says uh, a cool higher tier would be if you could uh, get boxing gloves with a custom logo printed on it. Uh, if you wanted to try and offer a premium tier, that would actually be something that would be kind of cool. 
Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Someone was, uh, someone DM'd me suggesting maybe I should have a tier where, like, uh, people get drawn into the comic, because I know mm-hmm. that that's a tier for some comic campaigns. Yeah. I mean, you could have a bunch of, you'd probably end up with a bunch of guys getting drawn in and then getting their asses beat. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, that is another uh, question that I actually had. So, uh, with her power to snap her fingers, uh, is it, does it only work on guys? It only works on guys. Only That's the one there. So she comes across a female that wants to beat her ass. Then she's just going to have to traditionally whoop that ass. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Uh, yeah, everyone, everyone's talking about getting drawn in and, and uh, getting KO'd and all of that, and thinking that that would be a, that'd be awesome. So, you know, hey, there is uh, something to consider maybe maybe do a draw in tier so you can uh, have people get their butts beat <laughs> it, it could go well and always having a couple of upper level tiers is always really nice because you might have people that really want to support you and they want to support you in a bigger way uh than just you know a 15 dollar tier or a 40 dollar tier and so if you're able to to give them premium stuff worst case scenario it doesn't sell and that's fine um, but best case scenario, it does sell and it helps boost your, your overall numbers. So that wouldn't be, uh, a bad idea if your artist is down for drawing people in or, uh, like the boxing gloves, if you can do the research and figure out where, uh, Frago says that it's possible. So you might want to contact him if that's something that you're interested in. Um, right. but you know, offering a couple of upper tiers might be a good idea. And if they sell, then great. And if they don't, then, you know, you're not out anything until you actually buy them. So. <laughs> yeah that's true uh yeah Frogo says it'd be funny to pay to be one of the dudes getting beat up and uh climaxing right that's what uh, I assume some people wanted <laughs> I mean you know it's I almost feel like you might get girlfriends that would do it just so they could uh they could talk shit about their boyfriends <laughs> just like <laughs> Nope, you know what? He was an asshole. Put him in there and beat his ass. And then uh, this is what his O face looks like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Or something. Um, Wolverine did have a question. So he said, aside from the amusing O snap angle, what were the ingredients of coming up with O girl on a character plot level? Well, actually, I, I was originally thinking like types of comics that I would want to do in the future. And one of the comic ideas would be like someone with a very ridiculous power that was still somewhat effective like they could still somewhat fight even though their power is really stupid and uh as i was brainstorming that i i came across the idea of like hey, what if someone could just make you orgasm on command <laughs> <laughs> and yeah after after some buffing out that's how orgasm girl came to be okay Oh, that's for YouTube. I posted the wrong link. I am terrible. Gosh, I'm <laughs> boomerang all over the place today. Uh-huh. Um, I borrow ideas. Wants to know how much of the book is already done. Uh, mostly just what you see on the campaign page. There's like half of the next page basically done. Uh, right now, Sanity's like having some issues, so hasn't been able to draw too much more, but I think he'll he'll be back at it probably by this week. Okay. All right. Well, we hope that uh, it's nothing serious and that, you know, everything kind of calms down for him. Right, right. <laughs> uh, Wolverine says, also, have you considered a situation where Ogre will try to use her powers on an opponent and they don't work because it's a passing trans person? <laughs> yeah, I've imagined a bunch of different scenarios with her. <laughs> That would be very interesting. Um, Title Boxing. So that's the website where you can go and do custom logo shorts, shirts, robes, gloves. Um, I mean, hell, if it doesn't end up costing too much, like a fucking O-Girl sports bra uh, with that (laughs) logo might actually be kind of badass. (laughs) Right, Um, right. Like there's some some really cool stuff that you could do for sure. Um. (laughs) And we've also got Genuine Comics says, uh, I wanted to back it, but it only ships to America. So yes, um, she's only shipping to America. She's got the digital bundle with a bunch of the 
extras if that's uh if it's something that you still want to have so there's there's that angle um I'm yeah. assuming it's just it, it's shipping outside of the U.S. can get a little bit pricey. Right. I was trying to kind of start small, you know. So the, the biggest problem with shipping outside is you never really quite know how much it's going to cost for every individual address. And mm -hmm. it can be super pricey if, like, somebody lives on a mountain <laughs> surrounded by, um, um, I don't even know, alligators, you know. They're going to yeah. super mega shipping to get to where people are. Uh, it seems like people really like the idea of you doing uh, Oh Girl specific merch <laughs> <laughs> and putting it up on the campaign. It, it could be, they could be good sellers uh, as long as you, you know, make sure that you pay attention to the pricing and everything. It could actually be kind of neat. Yeah, it definitely sounds cool. Um, there was one other Pedro wanted to know would it work with a guy want a guy with a vasectomy I don't see why not yeah probably <laughs> I, I feel I feel like I feel like it's you don't stop having sex when you have a vasectomy you just stop having kids <laughs> <laughs> right, like, right. you still get all of the benefits of sex you just don't have the children that's that's the that's the thing it's just like when a woman gets her tubes tied like you don't stop enjoying it i <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess tyler says the art is stunning and the campaign looks great i i totally agree um yes uh, about muffin man that's actually something that we're looking at getting on uh so well thank you for the the boost up for them we will be checking them out for sure uh wolverine i'm not putting that up on the screen but yes you were right <laughs> 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 and yeah, if you're watching this on replay you go find that comment because i'm not putting it on the screen <laughs> um yeah so i i really like this i think it's a really uh fun interesting kind of campaign um and who knows if this ends up going really well and uh and trish gets a lot of support and love for it maybe she'll end up going back and and being able to do you know book to international with a physical copy but it's it's really going to depend on how you guys help her see how this one do, does and how uh everything kind of goes with this campaign because i i understand where you're coming from you want to make sure that you can deliver the product that you say that you're going to deliver without there being some kind of a major issue with it so right right uh, I don't, I definitely don't want to lose like thousands of dollars on the first campaign. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that could be, uh, that, that definitely could be really rough. Uh, Pedro said he had more questions, but he's going to stop now. I feel like if you're, if you're self-censoring, that's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am curious. Uh, how did you find out about the campaign? Uh, so I, hang out on Twitter a lot. And uh, I do believe that Tompa had pushed you out uh, on one of his, his big promo tweets. I saw orgasm girl and I went, what in the fuck is this? And I, <laughs> I saw the, the boobs with the heart and I went, yeah, I really need to see what this is. Started clicking on it, read through it. And I was like, this sounds absolutely ridiculous. And I am totally in. So uh, <laughs> that's, I, I ended up backing it that day. And then I went on a quest to try and find you and be like, okay, before before I bring her on, like, what are the potential outcomes of me bringing on a book that's called Orgasm Girl onto my channel? Uh, and I said, you know what, fuck it, it should be fun. So that's when I reached out to see if we could get you on. And uh, and honestly, this is, I'm happy that we had you on because you are an absolute delight. You're such a sweetheart. Aww. And this is, it's it's like I said, it's a fun book. It's a fun book that is just meant to be ridiculous. Um, what about such a simple but brilliant title? Um, <laughs> people saw bulk tweets, uh, saw it on Twitter. The name caught the attention. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I really a name think that'll make you double take. <laughs> you know, you know it really well because uh, the second you see it, you're just like, <laughs> "I'm sorry, what was that?" Like I surely that is not what I thought it was. Oh nope, nope, it is. Oh, 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 she snaps her fingers and oh, oh, that yeah, that's a face. 
Like that, I was scrolling and I saw, I saw the snap and I went, how the fuck is she going to do this? And scroll down. And I went, Oh, uh, I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> was just, yep. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to back this and then I'm going to just be uncomfortable when I read it because okay. that's a lot of O faces. <laughs> Yeah, dirty humor is, uh, it's one of those weird things where, like, it either makes you cry laughing or you're, you're just like, whoa. Yeah, it, uh, it, it definitely shocked me at first. And then the more I started reading it and when I saw, when I saw the punch and then the holding the two guys' heads, I went, oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep scrolling. This is hilarious. Right, right. Uh, so we got some people suggesting try and get on Frega's channel. Uh, I I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know how anybody feels about uh, having orgasm girl on. I feel like Frega would probably be like, yeah, so I can do it. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, he's apparently a fan of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so he's like, and, oh man, we got to stream sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then we've got who else had said uh whoop, right here uh try to get on red gaze's stream lola might enjoy this comic i think lola's gonna love this comic she uh she is a fan of the big boobs and the beautiful women mm -hmm. um so yeah and limitless says is this your first crowdfunding because he got here late uh second round on the same comic is what we had talked about before so they both got about the the same amount of money. It's like the last one was like some nine thousand or something, but the goal was higher. It's a lot more people on the team, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I sometimes watch Dan fan videos. I'm used to her humor, but this surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely surprised a lot of people because yeah, people saw me as like the girl next door type. <laughs> Exactly. I, I can I can see that, especially based on just based on how you sound. You just sound like a cute, adorable, like I like I like manga and I like chibi. And it's like, and I have a book called Oh Girl. And it's like, oh, oh, uh, okay. All right. Didn't expect that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's part of the humor is the fact that it's coming from me. <laughs> exactly. Well, and so you've got you've got a lot of people saying get on Frega. Wolverine says, uh, oh girl and ass ass titties is perfect. Uh Frega loves rap, so he'd probably love this campaign. Frega would love it. I, I think we might need to see if Frega wants to, you two can hook up and see if you can get on. Because, I mean, you, you got a lot of people, a lot of fans who want to see that that combination. And that'll probably help you uh, a good amount with where your goal is. Um, being able to get a lot higher up than what you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're less excited about going on Frank's channel that everybody else is for you to go on Frank's channel. <laughs> well, well, we'll work something out. I'm not sure, like, you know, timing-wise mm. how it's going to work out in the future, but we'll figure something out. I I think I think it'd be cool. I think it'd definitely be cool. Um, the, the best girl, that's the best, the girl next door with dirty humor. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, this is so great. Um, yeah, every, everybody seems to, to really be down for you being on, uh, on with Frega. They seem to be down with the idea overall. Um, yeah, you're, I, I think, I think you're great. You're adorable. This is, a a really interesting, uh, kind of concept and it's really fun. It's got great art. I really enjoy it. Um, so I, I think. I think it's I think it's good. I think that you deserve to be a little higher than uh than 10k. Um but I'm happy that you're at least funded. Right, right. And you've got I mean good hell, you've got 479 backers. Like you're you've got a lot of people that like this. You just priced it so low that it's <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of people for your numbers to go up, which is why I say I think doing a couple of those upper level tiers uh so people can you know, support you at a little bit higher of a level. Uh, I think that that wouldn't be a, a misstep at all. I think that that would be something that would probably be helpful. So, right, right. Uh, another thing is like a lot of people are doing uh, graphic novels for their campaigns and I was doing a uh, single issue. So <laughs> I didn't want to charge as much. Yeah, which, and 
that's really respectable. I really appreciate that because I've backed books for $25 that were 24 pages. And it's like, oh, it's like a dollar or something a page. <laughs> <laughs> that gets that gets pricey. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to like trick anyone out of their money or anything. <laughs> no, I, I think that you're doing a... I think you're doing a great job. I think that your campaign is awesome. You are super cute and uh, it, you're a fun person to, to talk to, even if you, you know, say you're a little bit nervous. I, I think that you're adorable. Um, and I, yeah, I love it. Um, so definitely go check out Ogirl. If you haven't already, I'll put the link in the chat one more time since you guys got so crazy uh, about her being on with Frega. So uh, check out the campaign in the link that I just posted. Um, definitely share this out. Try and let's see if we can get Trisha up there in uh, in backers because she's awesome. She deserves it. Uh, it's a fun, ridiculous comic that I just I just think is fun and, and entertaining. Um, so please go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to the chat. You guys are always awesome. Thank you so much, Trisha, for being so accommodating. I know that we had to reschedule and I really appreciate you just not having and, you know, coming on. That was awesome of you. Yeah, no problem. And it's, I mean, it's been really fun. It's been fun talking to you about this. I think that it's an entertaining comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been good. <laughs> and as always, please do not forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to Red Valkyrie. We are getting ever closer to our 1K. You guys are super amazing. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you know when we go live. And if you are interested in writing and you want to get your writing better, please make sure that you pop back around in a little over four hours for Writing Pros tonight. We are going to be talking all about influences and we've got some really great people that are going to be on talking about the things that have influenced them in their writing. So definitely come check us out. And as always, uh, we appreciate every last one of you guys for hanging out. You guys are super awesome. And we will talk to you next time. <laughs> See you later. Bye.